Hi, I'm Steve. This is your video user guide for the professional Precision Adjust. Let's see what's in the box. Here we have the base, the sharpening chassis, two attachment screws. Here we have your V block clamp clamp support, digital angle indicator, your small knife table, your abrasive handle and rod, and then a complete set of abrasives from leather, ceramic, and then diamond in 800, 600, 400, 320, and 220 grip. Everything comes in a handy organizer for you to keep everything in one place. Let's set this thing up. So we're gonna take our base, we're gonna set the chassis onto the base. Use our two attachment screws. And thread those in. The clamp goes right into the front of the chassis. And then the abrasive handle threads right into the clevis. When you're not using the handle, easily stowed up here at the top of the machine. So we're ready to sharpen. We'll get to these other pieces here in just a few minutes. To rotate the clamp, there's a red lever on the side of the chassis. Just press that down and rotate the clamp 180 degrees to sharpen the other side of your knife. You can rotate back to get back to the original side. You also press this lever to be able to remove the clamp so we can clamp your knife in there. On the clamp itself, there's a mark on the top. With that mark facing up, place the knife in the clamp with the handle facing to the right. Ensure that the spine of your knife is all the way in up against the V-block. And we're gonna insert back into the chassis. And now we can select our abrasive. There's a full range of grits, everything from repair to strop. To attach your abrasives, so to place them on the handle, they're held on with a magnet. Just align these two pins, snaps into place, and is held there securely. There's also a ceramic rod on the back of the handle for sharpening serrations. So let's set our angle. You'll notice on the chassis, there are indicators on both sides. These are for reference only to get you close to where you want to sharpen. For increased accuracy, we we'll use our digital angle indicator. Lay the digital angle indicator on the same surface that you're sharpening. Press the power button to turn it on. Press the zero button. And now we'll place it onto the rod and slide it up over the clevis. Now we adjust our angle to the desired angle we want to sharpen at. And then we'll remove the angle indicator and turn that off. To sharpen, we're going to start with the abrasive at the heel of the knife. We're going to bring the abrasive into the cutting edge and along the cutting edge at the same time. We're going to repeat this process until we develop a burr the full length of the cutting edge. Once that's occurred, we're going to rotate the knife and we're going to do the same process on the second side until we create a burr. Once we've created a burr on that side, we're going to move on to the next abrasive. For best results, we recommend light pressure and a consistent stroke throughout the sharpening process. Let's sharpen a small knife. First, we're gonna remove the clamp. We're gonna install the small knife table onto the base. I've already set my reference over here, so my angle will be close. I'm gonna place the knife onto the table, and there's magnets here that will help hold the knife. I'm gonna use the support bar to move the knife up until the cutting edge is just barely off the edge of the table. I'm going to use the fine tune adjust, turn that until the tip of the knife is also off the table. Now we'll hold the knife up against these two. We're going to place the abrasive on the knife and we're going to set our angle. We're going to start at the heel again and use light, consistent strokes as we sharpen.
Make sure you support the knife with your off hand during the sharpening process. To sharpen the other side of the knife, reposition the sharpener if you need to, and just place the knife back on the other side of the small knife table. We've already set everything so the depth is correct. We're gonna use those same light consistent strokes on the second side. When sharpening larger knives, we're gonna use the clamp support. And to install this, pull up on the lock on the back and rotate the chassis backwards. We're gonna slide the clamp support onto the base. We're gonna clamp our larger knife. Again, lift the lock, rotate the chassis back down onto that clamp support. To rotate the knife, lift the lock, rotate back again, press the red lever, and rotate the knife over. For best practices, use light pressure when sharpening. Also, this is a dry system, so don't use oil on the stones. Keep your sharpener clean during the sharpening process for best practices. Use a brush or a towel or something to remove any excess grit or accumulation. Also, be careful when sharpening. Be mindful of where your knives are and how they are stored, and do not leave a knife clamped in the sharpener when it's unattended. Make sure you keep your component box so you can keep all the accessories that come with the sharpener organized. Replacement abrasives are available at Worksharp Tools. This product and all Worksharp sharpeners are supported by a three-year warranty and world-class customer service.